everyone welcome back to our channel so today we are going to show you how an permanent magnet synchronous motor is used to generate the power in regenerative mode of operation so in order to exhibit this we are having an alternator and we are having an in order to rotate the rotor of the alternator we are giving the prime over through an dc motor so here this dc shunt motor is having so positive is connected to the line and from z it is i mean positive is connected to the line from z you are connecting to the input of the rheostat output of the rheostat you are connecting to the field winding and from armature you are connecting to the armature rheostat output of the armature rheostat you are connecting to the armature winding so this complete set is nothing but uh, this complete uh, set acts as an uh, prime over to our alternator so but here the alternator is nothing but uh, without electromagnet which is nothing but here the rotor is electromagnet now we are going to replace this rotor with an permanent magnet so now let's try to demonstrate so here in order to so here we have the rotor and here we have the stator so here in the circuit diagram the rotor is nothing but the field winding so in order to excite the field winding here we are giving the supply so this is the field winding area so so coming to the structure here so here we are having two parts so this is nothing but the prime mover which is nothing but a dc motor you have the stator and this is nothing but the rotor of an dc shunt motor so when you come to this dc shunt motor what is the purpose is we need to run this alternator and now we are going to change this alternator with an permanent magnet synchronous motor so basically when you take this dc motor it consists of two parts this is nothing but the stator and this is nothing but the rotor so stator is made up of field winding and the rotor is made up of armature winding but the reverse of a dc motor is nothing but an synchronous motor so here you have the stator as well as the rotor so already i told so here the rotor is nothing but field winding and stator is nothing but the armature winding and the emf you can collect across r y b so this is nothing but how we are collecting the emf from the terminals it is brought out where we have r y b so now for this synchronous motor you require an dc excitation in order to give the dc excitation you have positive negative and we have been given this connection and i will be showing you so now the intention is we are going to show how an electric vehicle operates in de accelerating mode of operation so when you accelerate the vehicle the vehicle will try to propel as soon as you reduce the acceleration so our fly i mean fly wheel will try to act like an slowly the rotor rotates okay so like this the rotor rotates in an electric vehicle but still an emf is generated in armature and that armature emf will be shown by this bulb as well as by this voltmeter let's try to start performing the experiment okay so the next part of the video will continue with the experimentation so thank you for watching